Yo, what's up guys? Zunamar here coming at you with another podcast. I am finally back from this little break I took. I went to New York City and it was amazing. I hope uh, you guys enjoy your August or your vacation and you had time to relax. Uh, this for me was an opportunity to see uh, and hang out with my family. It was really cool. It was my first time going to New York City in 10 years. I think the last time I went, um, I usually say like it was right after uh, the 9-11 event because obviously it's something that like you can mark in a date very easily. Um, I was a kid and it was like a huge hole at the place where the Twin Towers was. And I went this year and there's the new uh, One World Trend Center, which is very impressive and very tall. And New York City is a pretty cool city, guys. If you don't know, I'm here in San Francisco, but I'm originally from Paris. So it's always surprising to see buildings that tall. So it's a little bit like a welcome back podcast that I wanted to do, guys. I just wanted to say what's up and just fill you in and what was going on and what will be going on in this YouTube channel for the next few weeks. Because uh, I had a lot of time to think. I had a lot of time to think and a lot of things are going to change, hopefully in the next few weeks to months. So the first thing is that for this New York City trip, I try to do like a challenge, like challenging myself to stay up on the daily upload. Like I had all the ready, I had the footage ready on Dropbox. I was ready to record two to three videos. I had topics. I had I had a setup. Like I had my iPhone, I guess, which is a kind of good setup because it is the latest iPhone in the market and it has really good audio. Uh, so I, was un- I wasn't really worried about getting like a, a DSLR and a mic and all that stuff. So I, I failed the challenge, I want to say. Like I didn't do it, but I explained to you guys that for me it was an opportunity to see my parents and I didn't want to spend like four hours recording, editing a video. And I don't regret it. I think, uh, I think it's okay. I think I spend time with my family and that's really what matters. And, but the thing is that I discovered what YouTube Live was. So I did two YouTube Lives during those last 10 days, and I thought it was a really cool stuff. Like, you can just sit down, uh, launch the live, and just talk about a random topic you want to do. It's very raw, and I kind of like that. Like, I really, really kind of like that because there's not like the whole ed- editing process, and you can just talk and have interaction on the chat with some of your viewers, and it's really, really fun. So, my current content, guys, is going to change. I'm going to talk about this later, uh, but I've I've just been studying YouTube a lot. I've been just looking at my videos for the past two months, uh, and th- there's a lot of things I want to talk about because I feel like my content isn't anything special right now. Uh, I, I really love self-criticizing myself. Like, I'm like, am I special? Would people watch this shit? Like, what, why would people watch that? And I keep asking my those questions in my content and I'm like okay like I need to bring something special to the table I want you guys to watch my stuff and like it's so good then you want to recommend it to all your gamer friends like I really want to have this reaction to people because <clears throat> I usually share videos that I find amazing I share it to my parents I share it to everyone that I know and this reaction that you have from amazing content this is really what I want to provide to some people and the one of the bad things I've done is I've been comparing myself to a lot of you a lot of youtubers so I've looked up to people like Heisman Professor Kelly Yasuo uh, and I'm like yo what they're doing I can do it too but it's not like I feel like I can do it too so I can have as much views as they have and all that stuff I don't want to think like that anymore and I want to find myself a little bit like I want to find my table like I want to find my stuff my style my my art, if I can, if I can name it this way. So, the reason why I want to do this video is that I want to talk about League of Legends, like League of Legends as a game, as the game that I've been playing for the past like six to seven years or whatever it came out. I started at the end of season one or something like that. Uh, I was bronze in season one. Actually, I I still have the icon. Of course, I still have it. And I don't know, man. I feel like I've been playing a lot of League of Legends and. I've done a lot for League of Legends, about League of Legends, and I haven't got, like, I, I, I don't want to say, like, I haven't got anything in return, but I feel like maybe it's just not meant to be. And it could be a very dumb mindset for some of you guys, but I feel like 
I've done quite my share of it. Like I've, I was a shoutcaster for LCS Studio. I was a coach. I was a player in competitive teams for like local tournaments, but it was still competitive. Um, I've done YouTube. I have like hundreds and hundreds of videos about League of Legends, and <clears throat> maybe it's just not my craft. Maybe it's not my wave to surf. Uh, I like to think it as of like this analogy. I think it's really it's a fun analogy. Uh, League of Legends being the wave and me not being able to surf it as well as I want to and getting a amount of like audience and catching really a group of people that enjoy my videos. I know some of you guys uh, like my videos. I'm thinking of you for example Crash. You watch a lot of my stuff. I, I love you being here and just commenting on my videos. Uh, by the way I hope your internship went well. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, but yeah, like I really, I, I just want something that is better fitted to me and somewhere where I could shine. So, it's not that I don't want to play League of Legends anymore. Like I do love the game. I do love like just commenting and do fun stuff on the game. And I'm probably still going to do it. Like I'm still going to do League of Legends content for now. But I just feel like I'm looking for this game that will absolutely change my gaming, like... I don't want to say career, but life. I want to say, like, when League of Legends came out, the first time I played, I was like, yo, I'm going to play this game until I'm the number one player in Europe or, like, in the world. I couldn't stop thinking about League of Legends. Uh, I was studying League of Legends more than I was studying class. I was just, I just wanted to be the best. I was getting feedbacks from my friends that were, like, super high ELO, uh, and I still, like, right now are challengers and stuff. I just wanted to be the best. Like, I really, really wanted to be the best. Like, I was studying stuff. I was doing a Excel sheet with, like, uh, to know what build is worth it. Like, are, is like is Rabadon more worth at 30 minutes than, like, Void Staff? For how many AP is arm? Like, I was doing all that stuff with my friends. Like, going really hardcore into math and League of Legends. Like, just tryharding. What's the, what's the term again? Um... I guess like theory crafting, I think that's what it is, like when you just like do some theories and say, oh, is Void Staff better at 30 minutes than Rabadon if you have that number of AP or whatever. I was doing this hardcore and I didn't really, it didn't feel like work. I just really wanted to do, be the best at League of Legends. But right now, I feel like I just gave it all, dude. Like, I, I'm, I'm not playing League of Legends to be the best anymore. I'm plat. It, it's really bad. It's nothing impressive. Um, I've always been diamond, like for the past four years I want to say and for me being plat is so fucking weird but I'm like yo I'm starting to accept it because I feel like yo I'm gonna I'm gonna spend hours trying to be diamond to prove myself that I can be diamond again to prove people that I can be diamond but even diamond five has nothing impressive to it and I'm just like yo what is the what's the point of trying like what's the point of tryharding a game that you're not even having fun uh on and and that you just gave so much hours to. Like, I've just gave League of Legends so much hours that it just starts to be redundant for me. And I just enjoy watching esports and watching professional gamer play because obviously they, they play the League of Legends that I like, which is like high elo, high strategy, five on five and stuff. So, one thing I thought about is getting back into shotcasting and, anal and an being an analyst for like a studio, but obviously right now I'm in San Francisco and it's not something I could do, so I might do something like esports related for League of Legends in the future, maybe like a show that I can do like a weekly thing on my channel, or maybe like implement it on my series called Moves where I just shotcast like a, a special team fight or a move from uh, the LCS. So that's definitely something that I want to do. But the main, the main, the main thing I want to talk about about this podcast is really me waiting for a game where I can shine again. Where I can find the same excitement that I find for League of Legends, but just for another game. Like another game that would have the same hype and same stuff. And I think that it would be so much worth it for me in terms of growth, uh, whether it's on YouTube or for me, like, finding an audience. Like, I, we saw so much streamers and new YouTubers emerge from, like, players that know Battleground. We're going to see a lot from the new Call of Duty that's going to come out about World War II. Those are not games that really interest me. I think that PUBG is a great game, but you, you need, like, a good squad, like, funny people to play with you to make it very entertaining. Um, I don't have that for now. Call of Duty World War II isn't something I'm looking for. Like, I've never been a COD player, but I could give it a try. Like, I again, like, I want to give a try to new games like that and, and just 
find a home run. Like I like I need a game to come out that would be super popular and that would just like wreck the game and I would just start streaming and make better content than anyone else at the start and just see amazing growth like that. I think this is what I picture and vi envision in my mind and how I want things to happen. Uh, because right now the slow growth of League of Legends and the slow growth of content creator because there's so much people. Like if you type League of Legends, if you go to channel, you have like what? You have like three, five, six, like 6,000 channels about League of Legends that make like at least three videos a week. So it's hard for you guys, viewers, to just choose and or, or even choose just to watch everything, right? Like you don't have all your time. And, and that's it. So League of Legends for me, it's a really like... Uh, plummeted market I want to say if we can talk as if it was a business I do enjoy playing the fashion I do enjoy playing content for me but if I really want to start making content for an audience I, I need to start like like I genuinely want more than anything to find a game where I can have fun on and this is something that is very hard for some youtubers like people like PewDiePie uh, have talked about this and like now he's having a lot of fun with PUBG and he expressed it He's like, oh my god, I have I haven't had so much fun in a game in so long I really want to feel about that about a new game than League of Legends because obviously I really missed it I missed the grind. I missed like gaming like a like a no life like just until like the sun rises I miss that I miss the grind of wanting to be the best at a game uh, and the thing the exciting thing is that when a game starts you get when a game starts, like you get the same uh, starting line as everyone, right? Like if a new game is just like a new mechanics, it's not like uh, a number two, like a Destiny 2. Obviously the Destiny 1 players are going to be better than anyone else. But if it's a game called like XYZ, you just start at, like everyone starts at point A and everyone starts grinding and grinding and grinding. So you can be better than like people like Summit 1G or like Nate Shot or like the, the people that are generally good at every game that they play, right? So this is super, super interesting. So things that I'm looking forward to is like World War II of Call of, Call of Duty. Uh, PUBG, if they have like a ranking system, maybe I'll start playing and start like doing content on it. But I'm just going to be looking at, I'm just going to be looking around for, um, I'm going to be looking around for games. Like I want to find a game that I just find so much interest in and that I can just offer amazing content to, to an audience that I hopefully can find with it. And... And yeah, for me, it's super important. It's super important that I have fun making those videos. And I don't want to force anything. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that YouTuber. Um, so yeah, I'm telling you guys straight. Like, I'm going to keep playing League of Legends. I'll probably head over and give you more content. Maybe less, ser less serious content where I just stop Troy Harding so hard to get Diamond. But... Other than that, yeah, I'll try to do some content because right now, guys, if you want to play League of Legends, you can't really be the best. You want to play CSGO, you can't really be the best. You, you want to play Destiny, you can't really be the best. All that stuff is very hard. Same thing for Hearthstone, H1Z1, PUBG, etc., etc. So I'm really looking forward to a new game. Maybe that will come up like... Uh, I feel like September is a good month for new games as well. Uh, PUBG just came out, amazing success, but I feel like a lot of games come from uh, come when the school start. I, for some reason, it's a good date for uh, game releases. So I don't know, maybe a new Riot game will emerge in the next month or two, and they will make an amazing game where I'll be naturally talented at, and I'll just be the boss, I'll be the faker of it, and everything will go amazingly. So that's it guys, it was a small podcast, uh, it was about like 13 to 14 minutes, uh, yeah, I just want to say guys, I've missed YouTube, I've missed you guys so much, uh, I'm really excited to make more content, and yeah, let's get into it guys, very, very happy, very, very happy that I, that I went to New York City, great city guys, a lot of cheesecakes, <laughs> alright, thank you so much for watching this guys, I'll see you for the next video tomorrow, until then. Peace. Time to go, give them all that feel good. Good times and good vibes, no problem now, life's good. See the real ones say why the fake ones left and they got my six. Got dreams in my head, put a city on my back when I make that trip. I tell them, yeah, I tell them. Everything is good, everything is great. On the rise, hold up, wait. Got no mistakes.